Dear colleagues, welcome this week's Oncolurity Cancer Weekly Roundup, starting off with breast cancer positive results released with Elisestran, the first oral selective estrogen receptor degrader with top line results in the pivotal phase three emerald study versus standard ET for ER positive metastatic breast cancer. Study met both primary endpoints, PFS benefit, not only in general populations, but also in ESR1 mutations. Eagerly awaiting results at San Antonio where the full data will be presented. The ESMO clinical practice guidelines for metastatic breast cancer are available for the diagnosis, staging, and treatment of the disease. Out on JCO, randomized phase two trial of modified fulfurinox versus cisplatin gemcitabine chemotherapy in biliary cancers. Results show that gemcis still remains standard of care and a stark reminder that more is not always better. Will be interesting to see if there is a difference with the combination of gemcis and brexane. Out on JAMA Oncology, clinical activity and safety for cabozantinib for brain metastasis in patients with renal cell carcinoma. Cabo does have activity for patients who have brain metastasis from kidney cancer. Systemic review and meta-analysis of 10 studies investigating stereotactive ablative radiotherapy for oligometastatic breast cancer, low toxicity, SABR to prevent disease progression, and delay systemic, mainly HER2 positive and HR positive HER2 negative breast cancer. Onco Alliance, does scalp cooling have the same efficacy in black patients receiving chemotherapy for breast cancer, showing that the benefit is not the same. Yet another example as to why we need diverse populations involved in clinical trials. Gain of function mutations in PIK3CA gene causing lymphatic malformations. PIK3CA inhibitor administration reduced lymphatic malformations, showing precision medicine has applications beyond cancer. Repurposing oncology drugs is opening up new opportunities. Just out on our Oncolder podcast, Dr. Deason, Dr. Hamilton, and Dr. Liu discussed three oncology FDA approvals based on Monarch E, Empower 010, and Keynote 826. Our warm congratulations to ASCO President-elect Dr. Eric Weiner on being named Director of Yale Cancer, thanking the Athenian Oncology Congress and Hellenic Oncology Society for a wonderful meeting and allowing us to talk about who we are, what we do, and why we do it. We are Oncolert. We can't wait for Astro 21 here in a few days, less than two months until San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, and of course, our uncle, their colloquium in two months. That's it, folks, your weekly roundup. See you next week.